you're meant to fast for, for six to 12 hours prior to the surgery. That's the hardest part, I think, of the surgery is fasting and not having any coffee uh, you know, prior to going in. To make sure that uh, the transport is gonna be organized because um, the procedure involved uh, general anesthetic, which excludes driving a car. Uh, my partner, my youngest daughter and myself uh, will go into the, the hospital together. Um, while I have my procedure, they'll go off and have some lunch. I found the hospital was quite um, quite thorough in making sure that you understood um, what the procedure was and that there, were, there is always um, an element of a risk. And um, um, if I accepted, accepted those facts, I um, signed the form. Um, uh, so I had no problem with that. So generally you'll turn up in the hospital, um, you'll fill out your surgery papers, you sign your consent forms, and then you go into a, a waiting room where you watch a bit of television, listen to your, to your music, um, until a nurse calls you in. Um, she weighs you, takes your blood pressure, asks you if you're allergic to anything, and you go through um, all the forms that you've filled out. You told me what was going on, the um, your anaesthetist and um, you know, explained everything to me. When they were wheeling me in, I thought, great, you know, I was first cab off the rink and it's going to get done. So um, I'll, I'll be, you know, be back at base, you know, um, by lunchtime. The procedure uh, is really um, not that difficult in terms of pain. There is no big scars, it's just two little holes. And then again, technology, that's because the technology involved in a way that allows a little tool to be inserted as opposed to knee open. And um, I've woken up just like from a sleep. Um, you've got no memory at all of anything. When the patient is waking up from the general anesthetic, it involves a bit of dizziness and, and disorientation and, and shivers. Uh, but then, you know, uh, you, you hear this warm voice saying, hey, how are you? Are you feeling well? And it's kind of just, just feels good that you're well taken care of and that everything is Okay. A nurse came over, asked me how I was feeling, and I said, fine. I said, oh, good, we'll take you out, you know, um, we'll walk you out um, to a common area, um, give, you, give you something to drink and some sandwiches. The nurses come periodically just to check your pain threshold and to see if you need any more uh, pain medication. I didn't experience any pain. I had the, I had the ice pack, um, which left them, and um, they gave me some painkillers, which if it was hurting, I would have taken. But, but I've still got them at home. Never opened the, um, never opened the um, packet. Well, my, my, maybe I had so many bumps and bumps and scrapes over the years that you know, it didn't register too much. The doctor actually uh, comes, uh, usually comes back to, to visit the patient. There was a lot of loose cartilage bodies like literally five, six of them. He actually showed them to me in a little little plastic bottle. So he says, the enemies are out. <laughs> so now it should be okay. It is a bit sore and inflated, but you know, it's, it's gonna go back to, to normal within seven days. If it doesn't, then you know, we'll, we'll see what we're gonna do. And then the follow-up treatment usually is uh, sort of booked or agreed upon at that stage. There's no need for crutches, you're straight up on your leg. Um, the only thing you would know is that your leg's bandaged. Um, other than that, there's no limping, just, it's just walking straight back out again. So generally I'll, I'll give the discharge information to my partner, um, who will read the discharge information. That, that typically will give you advice on uh, what pain medications to take, um, what not to do after the procedure, how to look after your wound so there's less chance of infection. When I left the hospital, they um, gave me the instructions that to uh, rest the knee. Um, if, it's, if I have a lot of pain or um, is any weeping, I contact the hospital straight away, um, which I didn't need to do, and to see the surgeon um, in a week's time.